Plagiarism is quite rampant in the digital publishing industry. So what exactly is plagiarism? Plagiarism is basically taking someone else's work and passing it off as your own. Now this is quite rampant and we've all seen multiple instances of our content being plagiarized by someone else. Bigger publications have seen it way more often than the others where you have smaller newer publishers or say even individual bloggers taking up your content and publishing it. The issue with plagiarism is that content that is plagiarized, even if you know you are the original content creator and it's plagiarized by someone else, it affects your SEO. On the flip side, if one of say your authors has plagiarized some of the content on from someone else's website, one, it will uh, show up. You can also get sued by the publication for plagiarism. So as an editor or as someone of authority in the newsroom, how do you detect plagiarism before it gets published on your publication? Now, this is a very simple process. So I've shortlisted three tools that will help detect plagiarism. Let's begin. So the first one that I would like to show you guys is called Qtext. So Qtext is a very simple, uh, you know, you get a simple text box where you can paste the content that you would be going ahead and publishing and it'll run through it and detect if the content is plagiarized or what percent of that content is plagiarized. So first I'm going to pick up one of my reviews and put it in Qtext. There is a small portion of it. And I'll hit check for plagiarism. Now this will take some time but as it goes through what i've seen is uh you know some of my content uh, being plagiarized by other smaller bloggers publishers as well so let's just check what qtext comes up with so qtext has finished analyzing the text and i'm just going to enter and it shows that it's 99 percent plagiarized now i'm not surprised because it's basically a published article and like it shows it's from the website it's published on. So Qtext I found it to be one of the most accurate plagiarism checking tools. Now I've given you an example of uh, a content that is already published. Now I'm going to show fresh content on Qtext itself, something that you would probably do before you publish a new article. So let's quickly go back and let me put in another check for Qtext. So as you can see with Qtext, uh, the free searches are limited to 500 words. If your articles are larger, you can break them down and run multiple searches. The alternate being you can opt for a paid plan from Qtext. If you have a CMS, uh, you can also consider looking at APIs from these plagiarism checking tools that will ensure one less step in the entire process of publishing. So you can have an integration with your CMS which checks for plagiarism just before you hit publish. Now with the second text that is not published anywhere. It shows like about 26% plagiarism. So what Qtext does is if it finds a direct match in the text, it underlines it with a red color. It shows that, hey, it's a direct match with the content we found elsewhere. The orange colored highlight is something which is not a one-to-one -one match. It's like a part of the sentence is similar. So you can look for it. Now, as you can see, uh, this is roughly, uh, you know, similar sentences, but not directly lifted off from the other website. Whereas this one sentence is a direct match, 100% similar. So I would say that Qtext is pretty much one of the best plagiarism checking tools that I've seen. So with this done, next one on the list is Grammarly. Uh, Grammarly is something that we are all familiar with. Uh, we've used it for checking for grammatical errors in a sentence checking for spelling mistakes, checking for 
say if the sentence is framed better it helps us with that as well but it also has a plagiarism checker uh, we'll test it out just like we did with qtext i'll copy one of my content earlier written publish it and text scan for plagiarism so again grammarly is free but the paid plan will give you better options so it's quick to run this test and it says that there's significant plagiarism found which is natural because i've taken it off an article that is already published so it's quite sure other than that uh, being grammarly it also shows spelling errors punctuation errors everything so this is found this now i'll quickly give grammarly another paragraph that is completely new so as you can see grammarly shows that there's no plagiarism with this particular paragraph whereas qtext did find one common sentence and some similar elements uh, you know nothing with respect to plagiarism so grammarly is a tool that you can use to detect plagiarism as well with this done let's move to the third tool that i have for you guys prepost seo now i'm going to repeat the same procedure again pick up published content check for plagiarism and let's look at it so the verdict is out prepost seo says that it's 100% plagiarized which of course it is and it shows all matches as well so 100% match 65% similar to the review which is of course the the link that we took it from again this is related websites it will also uh, show you websites so if say for example you have published your content and you want to look for other websites that have plagiarized your content this is also a technique that you can use to find other websites that have copied content from you now with this done i'm going to quickly give some of the text that we've prepared to check it now this text is not published anywhere and just like q text it also highlights directly lifted sentences with a red underline it says 7% plagiarized content and 93% unique content as a thumb rule if the plagiarism plagiarized content is less than 10% and if it's very generic statements uh, you can overlook it but if it's an opinion uh, that is uh, you know kind of plagiarized that then that is where you would need to look at it now usually if someone is blankly copying and pasting uh, plagiarized content it will give you a much significantly larger number of plagiarized content in these tests so these were the three tools if you have been using any other tool and uh, you would like fellow members of the digital publishing community to know about them do drop them in the comments it will be helpful to everyone